What's up guys? So today I'm out here fishing at Lake Springfield trying to wake up with this McDonald's coffee and I'm out here today with two special guests. They're not from this area. Well, I guess one of them is but we got one coming from Chicago here and we're gonna be targeting some white bass and crappie and our special guest of the day is Tom from Hooked and Tagged. What's up guys? Ready to catch some crappies today. Yeah, baby. There's one. Rapid, nice. That's a keeper. Oh, you think it's about nine? Really fat though. It's got, it's got the potential. See the nine? See through its tail. Ten's right here. Dang, my hands are cold. Yeah, right? Oh yeah, yep. See, we upgraded our bait size and this is what we catch. Yeah, look at that. Look at this screen, guys. Look at that screen. It's absolutely loaded. So we finally just now got on some white bass. We've been fishing here for about an hour now and we got them dialed in. These white bass are just eating the shiners that are coming through this channel here. It's panning out for us, so we got a nice amount of fish for uh, us to clean tonight. Riggin's actually hooked up right now. Drop shotting. Did you get off? Yeah, you oh. off. Was that a crappie? Oh, so close. We did that with like a four pound bass the other day. Using these fish finders and getting all these fish is something else. So they're just gonna keep drop shot here. I'm warming up because it is absolutely frigid outside. Uh, this is probably the coldest I've fished all year so far, besides ice fishing, of course. But we'll take a little breather here. I'll have Reagan explain what he's doing. So what we're doing is drop shotting. Most people know it as a bass fishing technique, um, but I use it to vertical jig uh, pretty much all year round. Uh, usually the idea of it is when I crappie fish, I fish wood, so we've got our quarter ounce sinker on the bottom, and then you just tie your, I use true turn gold hooks, maybe eight inches to a foot from your drop shot weight. Kind of the reason we're doing it today is we've got these bait fish suspended from the bottom up to two feet. We've got the white bass kind of coming in and coming out from these pylons and these rocks, and they're just schooling, they're, some, they're schooling these bait fish up a lot. And so we're kind of using that to keep our bait a little bit suspended. And I missed. <laughs> Here we go guys, hooked up here. Hey, look at the seagulls. We just finished up dock shooting. I got probably a B plus on it if uh, we're taking a test today. I probably got a D minus. I think he, he a little bit better than that. Reagan was showing us how to dock shoot because we're going to some extreme dock shooting where we have a gap about this big that we're gonna be dock shooting. I keep saying flipping, because that's the bass term. Oh, and bass. we're gonna be dock shooting underneath there for some monster crappie, and they're there. It's just a matter of if they're gonna eat or not today. So we're gonna be doing that. And then we're gonna be going to the hot water ditch later on, so <laughs> stay tuned. We'll see what happens. There she is, right there on the end of that filter. Oh. Yep, come on. There we go. Nine and a half. Almost. 
That was a good one, Reagan. About right there. That's a keeper. Solid 11. Like, uh, like bass. Uh, large balls again. Yep. Why me? Dude, that's a, that's a decent one. Solid. It was great when this guy had his. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. I was just expecting. He's trying to. He sets hook so hard he just falls right out. Dude, I did that. Out of this seat, I landed my back right on my front cleat. Live well. There we go. Hooked up right there on the closest pole. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, that's a nice fish. Nice white. Oh, oh it was. We got one dude. He's a freaking champ on Lake of the Ozarks. And blows my that was a nice hit. Hey, look at that. That was on the fall, literally like right there. <laughs> He'll have the next dock shooting video out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I came up with this idea myself. Solid. Dock shooting for life. Crunch. Oh yes, he's hooked up. Oh, it's a big fish, bro. Get the net, get the net. Tighten up your drag just a tad. I got it. Tom is hooked up. Maybe not that tight. Oh, that, that is a big fish, man. I just saw it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It looked like a white, but... Yeah, he's got it. I would, I, I would not lose it. Just keep that pressure on there. It should be good. Dude, he's not coming up, bro. I, I saw a little bit. He's, he's like this long. Whatever he's not it is. Coming up. I just want to see what he looks like here. I know. Oh, now he's in the mud. We disoriented him. Yeah, he might have to jump by me here. First chance I get at him, you see him? Dude, he is destroying this place. <laughs> I know he is. Dude, what is this? This is the biggest fish in the lake right here. It's gotta be. Oh, here he is. Get him. He's right over the buoy. Got him. Whoa. Yep, right in the mouth, too. Yep, he ate it. Dude, no I can't admit. Way. Dude, you see what? He just took me for a ride. Yeah. Nothing I could do. Um, it was probably the coldest day I fished all year, and that excludes ice fishing because, yeah. I mean, it's been so warm recently, and then we came out here, we froze our fingers and our toes off. So, you know, it was one of those things. It was a lot of fun, though, and I'm super glad to get the chance to come out here with Tom from Hooked and Tagged. Yep. And we're going to go and just take this time and let Tom talk about his business here. Yeah, so first off, what I wanted to share was uh, the whole social media aspect of it. <clears throat> Really how me and Austin really got on the water today fishing together is I sent him out. I actually first saw him, his YouTube videos and then uh, I sent him a message. I'm like, hey Austin, you know, I see you're in, from Illinois and uh, and you like to fish. So do I. So I'm like, all right, let's go fishing. So he's like, okay. Sometimes that works out, sometimes it doesn't. But literally, I'm not kidding you guys, less than a week uh, from me, the first message I sent to him, not even knowing him, he, uh, we're actually fishing together on the boat. So that's, that shows you guys the, the power of social media. And that's actually how um, Hooked and Tagged actually came about. Is it started on Instagram, got, then I got a Facebook page, and now I'm shooting over to uh, YouTube as well. And really what it is, obviously I sell clothing, I sell hats and hoodies and stuff like that. But really, what I really want to do is, uh, you know, make the outdoors fun again. It's my, the main slogan for Hooked and Tagged. So that's really, you know, what it's all about. And uh, to get the opportunity to fish with with Reagan over there, that goofy guy. 
and uh, Austin as well. I mean, that's just that's really what Hooked and Tag's about. It's more than just uh, hats and hoodies and apparel and stuff like that. It's really just having a good time and uh, showing people that the outdoors is what it's all about. And then I can't forget about Reagan here. Yep. This trip wouldn't have been possible without Reagan. If you guys are interested in his stuff, he's got CentralIllinoisCrappieGuide.com. You guys can book a trip there. Um, as you guys saw, I mean, we slayed crappie and white bass, and it's terrible fishing out right now for um, just the average angler. But he's out here. He's hounding these crappie and white bass on the daily, so he knows exactly where they're at. If you guys enjoyed this video, stay tuned. I've got a lot more videos coming, so hit that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. And now I threw up my almond and caught it in my mouth. <laughs>